Okay, here's the components for the plant cloner. This is the, uh, the top plate, and it's got all the little spongy things. That, it's called the collars for putting the cuttings in. So this is going to set on top. Now we've got the container itself, and then we have a pump and a spray bar. So basically these are a bunch of little sprinklers that are just going to create that mist. It's actually more of a more than a mist, but it's going to spray all the, the solution up around the cuttings to uh, prop the uh, growth. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to clean this. I'm going to pop all these out. And the uh, challenge with cleaning the collars is they float. So let me get them all out in there. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of welded wire. So this is going to go, fits right down in there, sits on top of the collars. This comes apart. Let's clean the pump. And I'll put the spray bar in there. This actually comes apart, but I don't need to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bleach solution in here, fill it with water, a little bleach. I'll let it soak. I'll flip this over since it's only halfway in there right now. And then once that soak is complete, we'll come back and uh, test all the um, sprayers, make sure none of them are clogged. So let me get that set up. Okay, so I finished soaking this with the bleach solution and I went ahead and rinsed everything off. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is check the uh, sprayers for any clogs. So I filled this about halfway with water. Go ahead and just attach the sprayer right to the pump. It just plugs right on there. Set that down in there. And when you're operating this, you want the water level just below the sprayer bar. That way there's quite a bit of water in there or solution. And um, that way the pump won't go dry, but let me go ahead and plug it in. And uh, I got really lucky this time. None of the sprayers are clogged. So I'll just let that run for a few seconds here. Make sure nothing comes up through the pump. And I think we're good to go. If it was the case that any of these were clogged, these just unscrew. You can unscrew them by hand. Well, usually they do. They're, they're not very uh, tight, just plastic on plastic, so you have to be careful with the threads. What I'm going to do now, since I ran that water through the pump, the pump should be good and clean, I'm going to dump this water out. I'm going to go ahead and add more water, uh, add some cloning solution in there. It's just a, like a root hormone that goes in the water. And then we will put it together and then add some, uh, some cuttings to it, and we'll be good to go. Okay, I replaced the water, so we got nice clean water in there. I'm going to add, this is a uh, Clonex cloning solution. I'll put a link in the show notes to this. But um, it specifies one to two teaspoons per quart. And there's roughly a gallon of water in there right now. So that's going to be four to eight. Um, what I'm going to do is just do two tablespoons, which would be six teaspoons. So that should be good for this. You don't actually have to use this, but it probably increases the success a little bit. So, two tablespoons. I'll put the grate on here. So now this has a cutout in one corner, that's for the power cord. So we just set that on there. Now when I rinsed these, I also made sure I rinsed out in here so that when you put a cutting in there, it's not uh, getting affected by the bleach. And these just press in real easy. So I'm gonna go gather a, a bunch of cuttings. I'm not gonna fill this up. Uh, this is um, 36, I'll probably do maybe 18 cuttings, maybe fill half the spots with it. Um, so let me go get some cuttings and then we'll place them in. Okay, I've got my cuttings. I'm using Katuk. I'm using this because it's a little challenging just uh, growing these as cuttings. It's 
what, 50% hit or miss when I try it in just a pot by itself. So very simply, I'm just going to put a collar around here, put at least two nodes into the water. Just set them up in there. So again, I'm going to um, space them out a little bit here. Some of these have the nodes pretty far apart. Let's see how that works out. Just go every other hole here. And I will speed the video up as to not completely bore you with this. Okay, you can see on a few of these, the nodes are really far apart. So I'm having to stick them in pretty far to get two nodes in. Okay, the cloner is now in place and I've got it plugged in. It's actually sitting on my carport. It's in a spot where it really shouldn't get much direct sun. It'll get a little tiny bit, maybe in the very early morning or towards the end of the day. We're getting close to sunset now. You can see the sun is almost hitting it there. But for the most part, it'll be in the shade. So what I'll do is I'll come back and keep checking it. And then I'll give like a uh, one week, two week, three week progress. Typically with Katuk, it takes about two to three weeks to get some decent fruits on there. So we'll keep checking in and see how it's doing. We are now two and a half weeks into growing these Katuk cuttings in the aeroponic cloner. So um, in my previous experience, it's taken about between two and three weeks for these to be ready. So I, I did check them, they're looking good. One interesting thing is the leaves never drooped. Usually when I do a cutting and put it in soil or something, the leaves will droop right away. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look here. I'll lift this up and there you see See, uh, all but two or three of them have a lot of roots. And those two or three, uh, probably hard to see, like that one there in the center, has a little root starting to bud out. But I'm not going to let these go too much further. Let's go one more week, and then at that point I think we'll be ready to pot these up. So we'll check back in in seven more days. Okay, it's been about three weeks since I placed all the Katuk into this cloner. You can see here, just about everybody has some roots. A couple of them that have little stubs, but no actual root. But for the most part, they look really good. But I want to go ahead and pull them out before we go any further. I don't want the roots to get too long, because then they'll get damaged when I pot them up. So what I'm going to do is one by one, just take them out and put them in this container of water to take them over to where we're going to pop them up. So here's one doesn't have roots, but it does have some very slight bumps there. Give them a try anyways. Most of these look really good. Another one, very slight bump. A little bit on the bottom. Don't see anything on this one. It looks healthy otherwise. A good one. Very good. Seems 
like these thicker ones. The ones that haven't rooted. But overall, only about two with no activity. It's got bumps. And then here's why I'm wanting to pot them up. Just taking them out of these, we've lost some roots. So let's take them over and get them uh, potted up. Okay, now I'm just gonna do a couple of these in the video. I don't need to go through the whole series of them. Uh, putting these into the one gallon nursery pots. And the first thing I do is throw a, a little base of um, wood chips in there. Bit of the potting mix. Basically, uh, put enough in there where I can dig a slight hole. I gotta be real careful with these roots, you don't want to damage them. So I've got a little indentation there. I'm just gonna hold this right in place, and just very gently put the potting mix around the plant. So I'm not gonna apply any real pressure, I'm just just leveling this out. Um, when I water, it'll it'll settle down a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of tree chips around that just to help lock in moisture and reduce the amount of weeds and such. So let's do that one more time. Some wood chips, slight base of potting mix. Again, very carefully. This one needs to go a little deeper. Just gonna lightly rain that around the cutting to avoid damaging the roots. Good shake. Again, with the wood chips. There we go. The only thing left to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, saturate these with water when I get them all done. And then I'll put them in my grow out area. And there we go. So uh, using the aeroponic cloner works really well. Um, typically, again, with Katuk, it's a, it's a little hard to root. Uh, the success, success rate is a little low and it takes a long time if I try to just put the cuttings into the mix. But using the aeroponic cloner Within three weeks, I have a good root system, and then probably another three weeks, these are gonna look like really healthy uh, plants ready to put in the ground or possibly sell. All right, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.